Good morning. This is me Nafisa. Today we'll learn about where is beta lactam ring present? What are beta lactam antibiotics and examples of beta lactam antibiotics? Who produces beta lactamase enzyme? What is the meaning of resistant bacteria? What are beta lactamase inhibitors and examples of beta lactamase inhibitors? Penicillin was the first antibiotic to be used. Penicillin was discovered in 1928 and used clinically in 1941. Penicillin are derived from Penicillium fungi. Penicillin are still widely used and is one of the best antibiotics in many ways. Cephalosporin are a class of antibiotics. Cephalosporin were discovered in 1945 and first sold in 1964. Cephalosporin are derived from the fungus Acrimonium which was previously known as Cephalosporium. This is the structure of penicillin and cephalosporin. Let's make it simple. There is a four membered ring. This ring is called as beta lactam ring. Attached to this beta lactam ring is five membered ring. This five membered ring is thiazolidine ring. If beta lactam ring is attached to thiazolidine ring, this forms an antibiotic penicillin. Basic structure of all penicillin is beta lactam ring attached to thiazolidine ring. If four membered ring that is beta lactam ring is attached to six membered ring that is dihydrothiazine ring, this forms an antibiotic cephalosporin. Out of the two rings, beta lactam ring is most important ring in penicillin and cephalosporin. It is because of this beta lactam ring that penicillin and cephalosporin can kill bacteria. If this beta lactam ring is destroyed by bacteria, then penicillin and cephalosporin are of no use. The most important part of penicillin and cephalosporin structure is beta lactam ring. Penicillin and cephalosporin are antibiotics. Antibiotic means it will kill bacteria. As penicillin and cephalosporin have beta lactam ring, therefore penicillin and cephalosporin are called as beta lactam antibiotics. In the examples discussed below, we will take penicillin as an example of antibiotic. Cephalosporin will act in the same manner as penicillin. Let's consider the first example. If there is bacteria and there is antibiotic penicillin, penicillin has beta lactam ring. This beta lactam ring will kill the bacteria. Therefore, infection is treated. Let's consider second example. Bacteria will develop mechanisms to overcome the action of antibiotics. To protect itself, bacteria produces an enzyme. Enzyme is suffixed as ASE, ACE, which destroys the beta lactam ring. Therefore, this enzyme is called as beta lactamase. Now, this bacteria is producing beta lactamase. This beta lactamase will destroy the beta lactam ring of antibiotic penicillin. Therefore, now antibiotic is destroyed and has no action on bacteria. That is, we say bacteria has developed resistance to antibiotic. Bacteria which produces beta lactamase enzyme are called as resistant bacteria. Resistant bacteria produces resistant infections. Resistant infections causes severe infections. Consider the third example. Penicillin is a very good antibiotic but is destroyed in presence of beta lactamase enzyme. Therefore, to protect penicillin, we will send bodyguard along with penicillin. Examples of bodyguard is clavulinic acid. Bodyguard inhibits the beta lactamase enzyme. So the mode of action of clavulinic acid is beta lactamase inhibitor. Now, only resistant bacteria and penicillin antibiotics are present. So the beta lactam ring in penicillin destroys the resistant bacteria. Other examples of beta lactamase inhibitors are Sulbactam and Tazobactam.